easier to find work in Spain? Um, what's the easiest way of saying this? Not very. <laughs> um, a lot of the jobs locally are even difficult for Spanish to find. Um, we've got a friend who's a pharmacist and another one that is another professional. I can't remember what they were doing. Um, but both of them struggled to find work and certainly the wages are naff in this area. Doesn't mean that it's impossible, it just means if, if it's very difficult for Spaniards, it's going to be very difficult for Brits coming over here. Which is why I recommend making money online. Um, either that or having enough funds to work out what you can do here. That's why you often hear about people spending six months doing nothing or whatever when they arrive. It's quite simply, they're trying to work out what they can do. Um, because there's only so much waitress and waiter work. There's only so much uh, pot washing. There's only so much work cooking in, in restaurants, etc. Um, but also... I've heard about wages being quite low, below the minimum wage for a lot of people, um, and often off the books, so they don't, the companies don't have to pay social security. Um, that's why, you know, in this area, I think the average wage is something like 750 euros a month, That's you know, which is nothing. Um, I mean, it's obviously sustainable with, as a couple, you know, if there was a couple living on that, but... If you're working long hours, it's it's not a lot of money for a lot of work. So it's something people need to think about if they're seriously on about moving out here. Um, and we were watching a show last night, uh, which was I think it was Bargain Loving Brits in the Sun, uh, which covered a few different things that people get up to. You got a ro an aerobics instructor. You got somebody who's running uh, the entertainment at a holiday camp. Um, real estate agency and rentals because a lot of the time the businesses are like that you know the expats are sitting in certain niches um, the amount of expats that do real estate agencies here is fairly large because it's not regulated in the same way as the UK well in fact I'm not even sure how much the regulations is are in the UK as the requirements but it's a lot more simple here to open up as a real estate agent be a mechanic or whatever um, and I think that's part of the problem when you get bad service because if it's bad it's really bad um, like the cowboy mechanic up the road from me here um, it's something people need to look at now, I'm not saying there's no opportunities there, because let's face it, with the problems that have been going on in some of the other countries, the tourism in Spain was up by at least a million people last year. And for retirement, this, this economy and region is still very busy. Although they've got this Brexit thing going on, there's a lot of people coming in from other countries. A lot of Russians are coming in. You've got people from Scandinavia and all sorts. It's not always driven by the UK market. So there is a lot of opportunities there. And I would say, as a business, if you can orientate something either purely around the tourism or um, aim for the older generations, the... 55 plus or even 60 plus um, because there's a lot of people around on fixed pensions but have got the time and often interested in doing things but it's just got to be cheap enough for them to do it so I do think there, there is opportunity there uh, but you do really need to think of your own ideas and come up with something because if it's good enough for you to be doing it or somebody else be doing it um, it may only need one or two people to, to run the whole thing. It's, it may not be expansive if you're in the same area. Um, I know with somebody who does um, dance lessons further south of us, it, his is sort of bloomed. It's, it's quite a busy business. But here in La Mata, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that sort of thing could take off because we don't have the population, but it certainly could in the Torrejo area. It's big enough. It's basically just getting in more involved with places like Villa Martin and um, the other Brit places where there's a larger population 
of people here full time. Because La Mata is a bit quiet on that sense. It is a tourist spot. It doesn't have the the full time um, population. You know, yes, there's a few Spaniards and that are here, but um, as a friend of mine, well, it wasn't a friend. It was just somebody I was talking to because at the bar here, um, he only made the money on a Wednesday because the problem he had is that age group. They want to drink tea and coffee. So they may go and play uh, crib or whatever they do um, in the evenings, but they're not buying a lot of drinks and they're not eating out because they've got a limited budget. And that's why you've got to sort of think, what could I do that would actually encourage people to come to an event? Could be aerobics, could be dancing, could be whatever. Um because there is opportunities for that sort of thing here and i think those sorts of things will continue to grow um if you can find something to occupy people's time i mean i see a lot of older people here um do a lot of the road cycling um that seems to be quite a big thing but obviously that'll be set up more with the, the clubs and that already but that's why i think it's it's worth looking at what would work for the 60 something woman <laughs> because i think there's a lot more of them about that have lived out outlived their husbands and whatever you than probably anybody else um but yeah work's certainly not easy to get here and the lifestyle is probably the one reason people come here um i was listening to a radio show the other day uh, I think it was Jeremy Vines where somebody called in as if we're expats just sit on the beach all day and drink and all that. Either there's a chip on the guy's shoulder or he's got a very surreal view of the world. Expats here still have to pay bills. Expats here still have the same issues that they would have in the UK. The difference is you have the sunshine. Um, because of the positivity, this is my viewpoint, the positivity of the good weather, you get people that are generally much happier. So it gives you a natural well-being. well-being. Also things like arthritis and things like that aren't as bad here because obviously the, the weather helps. Um, it's a slower pace of life. If you decide to get up at lunchtime, nobody even notice. But the but people still have the bills to pay. I would just say it's just more la relaxed. Doesn't mean that people don't have priorities. They don't have you know. Nobody carries you in Spain. The social security system. I think you have to pay in eight years for like unemployment benefit, for example. Um, your healthcare is normally already paid for or um, you have to pay for it so you either have you have to walk in and pay in cash um, have private medical insurance or you have your medical insurance transferred from like the UK and let's be fair you already paid for it if you're retired you paid for your social security that uh, you've already paid more into the system than you're probably going to get out of it um, so from that perspective, you know, when people sit there going, oh, well, you know, you're living the life of Riley sort of thing, you say, well, hang on a minute. We're not getting anything for free. Everything's been paid for. You know, there is no free ride, and there's a lot less of a free ride here in Spain than you would get in the UK. Nobody's going to bail you out here. Um, but people love it. Spain's beautiful place um good food good quality of life and what else is there to say but getting work will be the hardest thing you probably do but once you get it running and get going and you'll probably end up doing something you don't normally do um then you'll be well set thanks for watching